this is Peter at Retrofret in Brooklyn, New York. I talk about the kind of woods uh, banjo necks can be made out of and what might be your best choice. This is an old uh, Fairbanks Vega. It has a mahogany neck. Mahogany is probably the most common wood that you'll find in not only banjo but guitar necks as well. Um, when they first started out making banjos in the 18th and 19th century, they basically used whatever local wood they could find. Uh, when it started to get into a factory environment, that's when people started to make more, uh, more definite choices. So uh, early Stewart banjos from Philadelphia in the 1880s used a cherry wood neck. Um, that ended up not being that stable. So they started looking for something else that would be similar in look, but a little hardier, and they settled on mostly South American mahogany. So that's what you have here. You see it's in kind of a nice, uh, just a natural light mahogany look when you see these little grain spots here. That's what a mahogany neck looks like. No carving on the heel, no elaborate pearl work, just plain, simple, honest banjo making. I have. Now, when you get into fancier banjos, the most popular wood is maple, especially flamey maple with a figure. So this is another old Fairbanks Vega banjo, and this has a North American flame maple neck. So when you talk about higher end instruments, this is the kind of wood that uh, you're most commonly going to see. It used to be more expensive than mahogany. It was considered flashier and harder. So uh, hopefully it stays straight better over the years. Not always true, but that was the hope at the time. And uh, those are your two main choices. You can also use ebony or rosewood, but they're very expensive and hard to work. So the two you're mostly going to see are maple and mahogany. Those would be considered your, your best choices, your standard choices for most modern builders and most vintage builders as well.